$1.9 trillion American rescue plan that President Joe Biden signed to law in March was the first giant legislative achievement of his administration, came very early on. And now we're seeing the real effects of it across the country as that money goes to help all sorts of folks in all kinds of places. What has been truly astonishing about the whole thing is that while every single Republican voted against the legislation, lots of them have been trying to take credit for all the good things in it, something President Biden enjoyed pointing out back in May. Even my Republican friends in Congress, not a single one of them voted for the rescue plan. I'm not going to embarrass any one of them, but I have here a list <laughs> of how back in their districts they're bragging about the rescue plan. There's Mississippi Republican Senator Roger Wicker, who tweeted before Biden even signed the bill, quote, independent restaurant operators have owned $28.6 billion worth of target relief, despite personally voting against the bill. In June, Florida's Republican Governor Ron DeSantis signed Florida's largest budget ever, saying, quote, and this is very rich, part of the reason we're here is because we've had good stewards in the legislature who spend conservatively and responsibly, but also the fact that Florida has schools open, business open, and people having the right to work. He declined to mention the bill was boosted with $10.2 billion in federal COVID relief money. Last month, Arizona's Republican governor, Doug Ducey, announced he was investing $100 million to expand high-speed broadband in the state. But if you read into just the second paragraph of the press release, you learn, quote, funding comes from the American Rescue Plan Act. But the best one yet, and you really got to give it to him, came this week from Republican governor of Ohio, Mike DeWine. Look at this tweet. While Democrats work to defund the police, we're investing $250 million in our law enforcement and first responders, a point he reiterated during a press conference. This is clearly not the time to defund the police. This is time to fund the police and to fund them in a new and creative way. You can probably guess where this is going by now. According to the governor's own press release, the new and creative way he is funding the police is by using money Ohio got from the American Rescue Plan. Can you imagine how shameless you have to be to not only take credit for funding that you and your party did everything to, to, to prevent, but to go one step further and attack the party, the Democrats, that actually got Ohio that money you are taking credit for. Well done, Governor Mike DeWine.